Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net and welcome to another exciting video tutorial. Uh, we have some good news and that is Sam Loya is back. Um, he is living under a cardboard box, um, but at least he is back. Um, and frankly, it's an improvement from his old house, which was actually a plastic bag. So, you know, I guess it works out for everyone. So today we're going to take a look at creating some frosty breath in After Effects. So if you're creating a commercial for a spearmint gum or perhaps a movie about a guy who is living his life all along but he doesn't realize that he's actually dead and that all of his interactions have been with dead people. So he's actually seeing these people. Or if you're making a movie that takes place in Canada um, you know, during the summer, you're going to want to be able to have this frosty breath because it's freaking cold up there. Um, okay, so here's uh, what we're going to be doing. Sam looks cold. So as you can see, he sort of breathes out this uh, frosty breath, and you'll notice that it doesn't start freezing until a couple inches away from his face, and that's just because the interaction with the cold and his heat so let's go and get started. What I'll do is take our cold breath dot movie, drop it onto a new comp, and uh, here we have a shot of Sam, and uh, it's actually not that cold. Um, but let's change that. So let's go and get started. I'm going to create a new solid, and uh, we'll make it comp size, and uh, I'll choose OK. Then I'll choose Effect Trap Code Particular, and uh, here we have our particles. And uh, we'll go and use this as the default. And uh, let me close some of our windows here. And uh, let's go down to the emitter. And we'll change it to directional. And then we'll rotate the direction out towards where he's breathing. And let's turn the velocity up to 500. So it's kind of shooting out pretty quick. And then let's keyframe the position to line up with his mouth. So we'll just uh, move it here. And we'll keyframe the position of the X and Y. We'll move forward a little bit. And we'll just keyframe it over time. You can hit U and uh, you can see your keyframes. And this way, the emitter shoots out the particles from his mouth. Uh, pretty straightforward. So just make sure uh, you follow the mouth there pretty well. And that should be pretty good. So now he's uh, breathing out these little particles. Um, OK, so that's good for right now. Um, let's go ahead and uh, move down to some of these other options. Um, I'll bring the directional spread in just a little bit. And real quick, let's go down to the physics. There's an option under air called air resistance. So it's kind of like if you uh, run your hand through like a pool, you have that resistance from the water. Well, the same thing happens in the air. So what we want to do is increase this. And what will happen is the particles will come out fast, but they'll slow down. And that way you have the particles coming out of the mouth fast and then kind of slowing down and dispersing a bit. So we'll increase that to about one. And that should be pretty good. Um, now let's start making it look like smoke. So we'll go to the particle and we'll increase the size. Um, so about there we'll set some size randomness and then we'll bring the opacity down a lot. So maybe uh, five or so. And uh, that's pretty good. Um, we also need to make some adjustments to the size over life. Now this can be a little tricky, but what you want to do is kind of click and draw a line. And what that'll do is start from the birth to the death. Now these particles are three seconds in, uh, in length, meaning each particle is going to last three seconds. So at the beginning, they're going to be very small and then kind of grow up rather quickly. And that way, we don't see the particles for a few seconds. 
until they kind of come out of the mouth. And we can actually probably do one of these, kind of make it so the particles actually don't start until a little bit after. And it can be a little tricky, but you want to kind of get something that looks similar to that. Anyway, you can play with it until you get something that's looking good. And then once you do, you'll be happy as a clam. Now, um, we'll probably bring the life of these down to about 2.5. And then we'll bring the opacity down even more. Um, because we actually want this to be a rather subtle effect. Um, and I'll just uh, play with this a little bit more so that it kind of fills in there. Now, um, there's a few other options, uh, like the uh, softness of the particle, so the sphere feathering. I want to bring that down just a little bit, and that way the particles uh, just look a, more, a little more edgy. Um, also, bring the size down just a bit, and that will also just give us a little more realism there. Um, now, let's see, what else can we do? Um, in the physics air properties, there's a spin amplitude. And what that'll do is kind of make the particles disperse. And so I'll just increase that a little bit. And that way they kind of flutter away. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. But what we want to do is make the particles come out while he's breathing. And so what we'll do is go right before he kind of opens his mouth. And we'll bring down the emitter options. And what we're going to do is keyframe the particles per second. So we'll set it to zero. And I'm going to create a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch. Then I'll hit U, bring up those keyframes. And then I'll move forward one frame by hitting page down, and we'll set it to 100. And then we'll go forward here. He breathes. He kind of stops here. And so we'll set this to 0, but we also want to set 1 to 100. And so that it turns on, and then it turns off. And we can also move these over so that it turns on, let's see, turns off, and then he starts breathing again, and we'll set another keyframe, and then move forward one frame and set it to 100, and so he breathes some more, and then we'll set a keyframe, move forward one, and shut it off. So what we have is it turning on, and again, um, now we want to adjust these so that they're happening at the right time. And also, because of the time it takes for the particles to come out, we also want to offset it so that it starts a little bit before it's actually supposed to. And that way the particles begin to come out sooner. And then we can also, instead of having it on and then off, we can bring one over so it sort of fades them out and less particles come out. Like when you take a deep breath, kind of slows down at the end. So this way it kind of disperses with less particles towards the end. And then he's going to breathe again. Here it comes. And again, we'll make it disperse a little bit at the end. So that looks good. Um, what I'll do is go to the particle and uh, we'll set the softness up again, just maybe to 35. And we'll also bring the opacity up to 4, just so that we can see it a little bit better. Um, now, the other thing we can do quickly is just kind of give it a frosty, cold look. So I'll create a new adjustment layer. And this will allow us to apply effects um, to everything beneath it. I'll choose Effect Color Correction Curves. And we'll go to the red channel, bring this down. Go to the blue channel and bring this up and maybe to the RGB and just uh, do a little contrast curve. And let's go and play this back. Okay, so that looks pretty good and uh, I've shown you all of the things you need to know to adjust this and uh, you can play around with the settings and uh, you know get it to do what you want. Um, and also one thing you may want to do is under the particle settings there's also an opacity over life and you may want to set the uh, down ramp um, or possibly just kind of draw your own so it kind of fades out at the end and that way the particles will 
fade out smoothly. Probably uh, also another thing I'll add to this adjustment layer is a desaturation, color correction, hue and saturation, and uh, probably put it before the curves and just bring the saturation down just a little bit. So it looks cold. Okay, well that's how you can create some frosty breath inside of After Effects. Um, of course, Sam is doing fine, alive and well, living under a park bench near you. Um, so if you see him, uh, try to help him out a little bit. Um, I know I would. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to check out our blog and, of course, our great products. Um, you will not be disappointed. Um, we do appreciate all the customers out there. And uh, until next time, guys, enjoy. And uh, one last thing. <clears throat> Chill out.